everybody, it's VR Gamer Dude here, and on today's segment of Lunchtime with My Gear VR, we are going to check out Labster CSI Forensics Lab. Now, this is one I haven't checked out yet, um, but it seems to be one of these job simulator type games that have uh, been popping up lately. Um, I, you know, I, I don't know. I, I'm kind of on the fence about those, uh, but uh, let's see if this one's any fun. So, alright. Oh, that's kind of cool. So it looks like the developers have replaced the traditional old flat bar going across the bottom of the screen for something nice and 3D here. So props for that. Nice little touch in VR. Um, so, alright. Labster. CSI. The really environment is actually really nice. And for a gear game, this is pretty damn detailed. Oh, what happened? Oh, okay. I was just changing scenes here. No signs of forced entry would suggest it was someone he knew. It appears it was a struggle due to an argument for some reason. As it turned violent, the visitor struck the professor in the oh. head with a heavy object. Oh, looks like dude got the cut. The visitor then walked cool. away, bleeding from a wound of his own, leaving the professor dude, dead. Dude, you're leaving DNA everywhere. And that's how I'm going to catch you. With my mad CSI skills. Right here on the door. We have a prime suspect in this case already. If you can match this blood, mm, left me a nice suspect, bloody handprint there. He was here at the crime scene when the professor was murdered. Okay, so it seems like the voice and the animation is a little out of sync. Um, but that's, you know what, man, for Gear VR, there's a lot going on in this scene. Um, got some nice reflections over there on that mini fridge. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the lighting looks really good. So, all right, yeah, this is actually pretty decent for a Gear VR title. So, and he continues to talk while he writes. Well, I think I do that sometimes, too. So, let's pick up the blood sample. Right, I got the I evidence. Like Go put this scumbag away. Oh, hey. Welcome to the virtual nice. lab. I am your lab assistant for today. Oh, a little disconnected hand there. So, makes me wonder if this is object, uh, slated for release on Turn other systems right that might have the some uh, motion machine. controls, maybe. So turn to the right. This is a next generation sequencing machine. With it, you can sequence DNA just like scanning a building plan. Oh, okay. Now look at the machine a bit further to the right. Mm, this is good a transmission electron microscope. Both of these cutting edge machines cost more than 100,000 US dollars. Oh, well, only 100,000? Well, crap, I'll take three of them. Like, without being afraid of breaking anything. Now, finally, Turn around. Yeah, it better not side. be you break it, you bought it. Man, that would suck. Behind this door, you will find the rest of the laboratory where you can soon okay, access. So it looks any like an explorable area. But so that's first, good. Let's start with a little challenge. Oh yeah, bring Look it. Down to the left on the lab pad, and it will automatically slide up. Well done. The lab pad will boost your learning. Use it you know, this is great. This actually almost has a kind of an educational feel to it. Um, now, I could definitely see table. something like Hide this being used again. in uh, classrooms. Oh, I wasn't listening to it. Oh, okay. You now know how to use your lab pad. You can always look at it during the experiment to see what your next step is. You are now <laughs> it's ready definitely to solve weird. the case. First, It's like watching a bad dubbed movie. We have on the bench. Have a look at the highlighted tube on the table in front of you. Okay. This tube contains DNA the DNA tube there. that was isolated from the blood sample. Have a look at the lab pad to learn more about DNA. You can access the relevant theory whenever you want to learn more. Look at your workbench when you are ready to continue. Nice, okay. 
So yeah, it's definitely got an educational uh, feel to it. So, man, this is really, really cool, actually. I can see the appeal of these types of games now. Lots of stuff going on here. The PCR reaction got some video embedded in here. Man, that's actually really cool. That take place at specific temperatures. When the PCR machine heats up to 95 degrees Celsius, the huh. box in front of you contains tubes for your experiment. Look at the box and click to open it. Well done. I have set up two machines for you. Take a look at the PCR machine to your right. Okay. And the PCR there we machine go. can produce specific fragments of the DNA. The lengths of these fragments are unique for each person. Now, take a look at the e-gel on the left side of your workbench. This machine can be used to separate the DNA fragments and produce a genetic fingerprint. The police gave us the genetic fingerprint of the prime suspect, which you can see to the left of the e-gel machine. Our mission is to produce the genetic fingerprint with the DNA from the blood sample and then find out if it will match with the genetic fingerprint of the suspect. So now, let's get started with the experiment. First, we need a new PCR tube. Okay. Click on the purple bag to pick up a tube. Got it. Well done. In the lab, we use a pipette to transfer liquid. Got pick it. Pick up the pipette. Now click on the tip box to pick up a new pipette tip. Okay. Well done. Now click on the DNA sample and pick up the DNA solution. Okay. Put Got it, it into the PCR tube. Look at me, man. I'm like now a CSI you have to pro throw here. Out the tip into the trash oh, bin. Got to throw out that dirty tip. A new tip again. Now we need to add the biomolecules that will help us copy specific regions of the DNA. Draw up the PCR master mix by clicking it. Now, add the mix to the PCR tube with your DNA sample. Okay. Awesome. You have now prepared your first PCR mix. That's right. I Next, have. Throw out the tip. Nope. Yep. Got to throw out that tip. And put the pipette back. Always put away your tools, kids. Then open the PCR machine. Pick up the PCR tube. Put the PCR tube into the machine. Great. Now go ahead and close the machine. Before we start the PCR machine, would you like to know more about how it works? Just nod your head if you'd like me to explain more, and shake your head if you would like to continue with the experiment. That's awesome. They've got nod controls in here, too, which I think adds a little okay. bit. Okay, now press start to start oh. the PCR reaction. Okay, well, I didn't nod my head, so I guess that's timed. But uh, I've always thought that the nod interaction right. is the actually really is cool, uh, being able to nod world, yes and no. normally take one full hour. But a here full in the hour? Oh, man, no way. Speed up the whole process. That's I right. Now start a time warp. There we go. Time now runs ten times faster than in the real life. See how the temperature Sweet. is changing inside the machine every thirty seconds. We are seconds. flying a minute into the future, folks. Look at that. The power of time warping. something right what oh no my CSR career is about to end what's going on give me my stuff <coughs> excuse me okay so something I didn't do something right here so hmm well, this is probably because VR Gamer Dude is trying to get ahead of himself because I can smell my lunch, and today it's ribs. Oh, from the rib crib. So, 
Okay, um, looks like I have screwed up the sequence by not paying attention. So there you go, kids. When you're in school, always pay attention to the teacher. So, all right, I guess this will be a good time to end this video since I do have to eat here at some point. But uh, yeah, overall, this one's not bad. Um, this is actually kind of cool. Very detailed environment. Uh, got a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, looks like you will be able to leave this lab room, a lot of educational stuff. So overall, yeah, I could see spending some time in here. This is actually kind of interesting. Um, not only am I having fun, but I'm learning at the same time. So what an awesome combination. Um, but uh, anyway, all right, well, that's it for today on Lunchtime with my Gear VR. I am VR Gamer Dude, and uh, oh gotta remember to turn off those notifications next time but uh, as always I want to thank all my subscribers for everything you guys are doing to help us grow the channel um, man you guys are doing awesome keep tweeting it liking it sharing it um, we are definitely growing bigger every day here um, at uh, my channel and I very much appreciate everything you guys are doing to help that happen and uh, if this was your first time watching today, hey, thanks so much for coming in and checking out Lunchtime with my Gear VR. Uh, please do hit up the rest of my channel. There's a lot of great DK2 and mobile content on there as well. As well as uh, checking out my sidebar for great VR content from the rest of the VR bros. Uh, so yeah give those guys channels a look and give them a like a share a tweet a subscribe you guys know the drill so all right it's vr gamer dude signing off for today see you tomorrow peace